Hello YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to patch your start orb in Windows 7. In Windows XP and Windows Vista, the start orb was included with your theme. So if you're using a particular theme, the start orb would be included with it. In Windows 7, however, the start orb is included with your explorer.exe file, which is one of the Windows system files. Today I'll be showing you how to patch it to have whatever start orb you want. So, the first thing you'll need is a bitmap image of the particular star orb you want. Here I found one on DeviantArt. DeviantArt is a great website for uh, finding customization things. And um, just search for Windows 7 orb. And uh, here I've got this one. I'm just going to download it now. And I'll just open it with WinRAR. Okay, that's that. And as you can see, it's got a few bitmaps. Uh, keep those in mind. I'll just extract them to the desktop. And as you can see, there's a patch explorer.exe thing for you. I'll show you how to do it manually. There is other ways to do it, but today I'll be showing you how to do it manually. <coughs> okay, so once you've got your bitmap of the particular startup you want, go to Resource Hacker, which is a uh, uh, program or uh, application. Um, that you need to have to do this so the link will be in the description scroll down and go to the Europe one or wherever you are which one's closest and again just extract this to somewhere I'll just run reshacker.exe straight from WinRAR okay as you can see I've opened up WinRAR uh, resource hacker sorry and now you need to open up your explorer.exe file. So go to File, Open, and then go to your C drive, then go to Windows, then look for explorer.exe. There it is. Okay, now go to Bitmap, then look for the particular numbers that they have on here so as you can see this is 6801 so I'm just gonna go to 6801 and click on the 1033 thing and as you can see it comes up with this image okay all I need to do all I need to do is uh, right click on 1033 and go to replace resource then go to open file with new bitmap then simply go to your uh, wherever it, those bitmaps are stored it's on my desktop and there you go I've got that particular bitmap and just go to replace and there you go you've replaced the first one and then just go ahead and do that with all, the, all of them replace resource open file with new bitmap and then again just go to it and click replace and the last one 6809 replace resource open file with new bitmap and click replace and there you go you've pretty much done you've patched or made your explorer.exe with uh, these new bitmaps all right now um, you just go to file save as you don't want to save it because you I recommend you have a backup of your uh, original one so just save it to your desktop or wherever I'm just and just go and save it as explorer dot exe remember dot exe so explorer dot exe click save and uh, just close resource hacker and you've got your new explorer dot exe now you need to do uh, now what you need to do is patch your original one I'm just gonna go to Windows and look for it explorer dot exe there it is and um, so it should be in C Windows or wherever Windows is installed on and then Windows right click on your explorer.exe and go to properties then go to the security tab and go to advanced then go to the owner tab and click edit then select your administrator and then click OK then uh, Windows security should come up if you have just taken ownership of this object you'll need to close and reopen uh, sorry about that and reopen this object's properties before you can view or change permissions just click OK and OK on the advanced security settings for explorer.exe again and then once you're in the explorer.exe properties window again 
click edit then select your administrator and then allow full control allow full control and then click apply and then again Windows security should come up just select yes and OK and on properties again just click OK now right click on it and go to rename and just re take off the XA and change it to dot alt uh, keep in mind that you'll need to enable the file extensions for this so go to organize folder and search options view and then uncheck hide extensions for known file types as you can see I've already unchecked it and that's why I can see the file types as you can see over here as well and now just drag in your new one there you go you've got your new explorer.exe close the Windows Explorer window and then go to task manager so right click on your taskbar and go to task manager you can also hit control shift and escape then go to the processes tab and look for explorer.exe explorer.exe which the description is Windows Explorer just click on that and go to end process and as you can see your taskbar should disappear just go to applications and go to new task and then in here type in explorer dot exe explorer dot exe click OK and there you go you've got your new start orb and as you can see it's looking really nice and um, the link to that particular orb will be in the description thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe if you like our videos and thanks again